Hidden within the mysterious depths of the distant reaches of our solar system lies a captivating enigma. Triton, Neptune's elusive moon. Veiled in darkness, this seemingly barren world conceals perplexing features that defy conventional understanding. Unlike its counterparts, Triton orbits Neptune in a peculiar reverse motion, challenging the established order of celestial bodies. Its frigid surface, remarkably youthful, occasionally erupts with creolava, showcasing an otherworldly vitality. Yet beneath its icy facade, cloaked in secrecy, lies a dense layer concealing a potentially boundless ocean, a realm where alien life may dwell, kept veiled from our gaze. Embark with us on this extraordinary journey to the outer realms of our solar system, bracing for a chilling yet thrilling expedition into the unknown. Neptune, a majestic icy giant swept by ceaseless ultrasonic winds, stands as one of the most distant planets in our celestial neighborhood. Except for Pluto, it remains unseen to the naked eye owing to its subdued luminosity. Alongside Triton, Neptune is encircled by 14 satellites, each adding to the allure of this distant realm. Triton, a peculiar icy moon, was initially unearthed in 1846 by the astute calculations of British astronomer William Lassell, as direct observation was hindered by the technological limitations of the era. Triton swiftly captivated the scientific community due to its stark deviations from other moons. While its counterparts are notably smaller and predominantly follow the planet's rotational motion, Triton's orbit is marked by a striking retrograde movement, setting it apart in the cosmic dance of celestial bodies. Scientists have noted a striking resemblance between Triton, Neptune's enigmatic moon, and the renowned dwarf planet Pluto. Their similarities extend to their masses, diameters, and even the composition of their surfaces. However, the significance of this resemblance will become clearer as we delve deeper into Triton's story. With a diameter of 1680 miles, Triton dwarfs its closest rival, the ice giant's second largest moon, Proteus, by nearly sevenfold. This sizable dimension enables Triton to sustain a tenuous atmosphere, predominantly composed of nitrogen and methane. Moreover, Triton boasts an ionosphere in its upper atmosphere, where atoms and molecules undergo intense ionization, a phenomenon absent on Earth. These characteristics strongly suggest that Triton, much like Pluto, may qualify as an icy dwarf planet. Furthermore, the composition of Triton's surface reveals a ratio of rock to ice hovering around 70 to 30, providing additional support for its planetary status. This composition also hints at a distinct origin compared to other satellites, indicating the presence of a crust, a liquid mantle, and a rocky core, features akin to those found on Earth. Situated at a distance of 2.793 million miles from the Sun, Triton ranks among the coldest satellites in the solar system, with temperatures averaging a bone-chilling negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Its surface, adorned with a layer of frozen nitrogen, is ensconced beneath a thick ice mantle, lending it a glittering icy sheen that reflects approximately 70% of the sunlight it receives over prolonged periods. Notably, the youthful appearance of Triton's surface suggests ongoing geological activity, challenging the notion of it being a lifeless celestial body and instead hinting at its status as a dynamically evolving planet. Triton boasts a fascinating history of surface evolution marked by intriguing dynamics. Despite its relatively small impact craters, which should be more pronounced, the presence of numerous smaller ones hints at ongoing surface recovery. Upon closer inspection, Triton reveals a terrain adorned with prominent ridges, valleys and intricate patterns reminiscent of a melon's skin, interspersed with sleek black stripes. These features defy conventional explanations solely based on cosmic collisions as Triton lacks the vast impact basins one would expect. Instead, astronomers propose a compelling theory. Beneath its icy exterior lies a vast ocean, shaping its distinct landscape. 
The rejuvenation of Triton's surface is facilitated by a blend of water and nitrogen settling upon its outer layer. But how does water reach the surface of such a cold moon? There are two plausible mechanisms – intense meteorite impacts of volcanic eruptions through the outer crust. Similar phenomena are observed on Titan, where nitrogen polar caps are attributed to cryovolcanism. However, the notion of water eruptions on a frigid moon raises questions. Triton's proximity to Neptune induces tidal heating, warming its interior and potentially liquefying water beneath the surface. Additionally, solar heating may trigger cryo-lava eruptions as solar radiation penetrates the ice, heating subsurface nitrogen until it bursts through the crust. These water eruptions can persist for extended periods, replenishing parts of Triton's surface with tens of cubic kilometers of material. Heidi Hamill, a leading researcher at the Institute of Space Sciences, suggests that such vigorous geyser activity necessitates a significant heat source, possibly an underlying ocean, though its existence remains unconfirmed. Various hypotheses abound regarding the origin of Triton's youthful surface, including the possibility of nitrogen ice pockets melting internally and erupting outward. Alternatively, cryovolcanoes might draw from water reservoirs within the crust rather than a subsurface ocean. Triton continues to intrigue scientists, prompting numerous inquiries into its internal makeup. The definitive answers to these questions lie in missions to the outer reaches of our solar system. The pioneering Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1989 provided humanity's first detailed glimpses of Triton as it zipped past Neptune's North Pole. Utilizing the gravitational pull of the giant planet, Voyager altered its trajectory to approach Triton within a distance of 25,000 miles nearly matching the altitude of geostationary satellites. These historic encounters enabled Voyager to capture unprecedented images of Triton's surface before venturing into the depths of interstellar space, forever altering our understanding of this enigmatic moon. The Voyager mission yielded a wealth of information about Triton, ranging from its mass and atmosphere to its composition. Notably, it revealed that Triton's atmosphere is primarily composed of molecular nitrogen, with traces of methane, a revelation that sparked investigations into the Moon's potential geological activity and the nature of its eruptions. Moreover, Voyager 2 dispelled the notion of liquid nitrogen oceans on Triton's surface, offering glimpses of the Moon's distinctive features. However, due to Triton's unique rotational characteristics, the mission only surveyed 40% of the Moon's southern hemisphere and a single side, perpetually facing Neptune. Nearly three decades later, the James Webb Space Telescope, from a considerably greater distance, captured another remarkable image of Neptune and Triton, perpetuating the legacy of exploration and discovery initiated by Voyager. For quite some time, the James Webb Space Telescope has been capturing images of Neptune's faint rings and its seven moons. However, the spotlight has been stolen by the largest moon of this icy giant, Triton. Positioned to the left of Neptune in the image, Triton appears as a dazzling, star-like object, a testament to its remarkably reflective surface composed of condensed nitrogen, which efficiently reflects nearly all incident sunlight. Despite the wealth of photographs amassed over the past three decades, our understanding of Triton remains incomplete, leaving many tantalizing questions unanswered. Thus, further expeditions to Triton are imperative to validate existing hypotheses and refine our comprehension of this intriguing moon. Of particular interest is Triton's peculiar orbit, which defies the typical motion observed among celestial bodies. As previously noted, Triton stands out as one of the few satellites orbiting in a retrograde direction, moving opposite to Neptune's rotation. Such counterclockwise motion is rare, with only a handful of satellites across the solar system, including those of Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter and Neptune, exhibiting similar orbits. Moreover, Triton's inclination, tilted by 23 degrees compared to Neptune's orbital plane, further piques scientific curiosity. 
While such orbital characteristics often arise from past collisions, this explanation fails to fully account for Triton's size and resemblance to dwarf planets, raising the question of its true nature. One plausible explanation lies in Neptune's proximity to the Kuiper Belt, the region bordering the solar system that is home to objects like the dwarf planet Pluto. Here, another intriguing possibility emerges – the capture of Triton by Neptune's gravitational pull from an independent trajectory. Such gravitational capture could have bestowed Triton with its retrograde orbit, offering a compelling rationale for its anomalous motion in the cosmic dance of celestial bodies. Given the complexities involved in modelling Triton's hypothetical organic formation around Neptune, scientists posit that Triton was likely ensnared by Neptune's gravitational pull, drawing it into orbit around the icy giant. It's now conjectured that Triton may have originated as an independent celestial body, once part of a binary planetary system akin to the pluto charon duo. The dominance of Neptune's gravitational influence over the relationship between two small, gravitationally bound objects suggests that Triton could have been dislodged from its original orbit, possibly through alterations in its orbital velocity. This scenario suggests that Triton was on a collision course with Neptune, but gravitational interactions with its companion planet diverted it into Neptune's orbit, ultimately leading to the ejection of the companion planet from the solar system. However, Neptune's gravitational influence didn't spare only this erstwhile companion planet. As previously noted, Neptune hosts 13 other satellites categorized into two groups, internal and external. Notably, all these satellites exhibit negligible mass, with Triton accounting for 99.5% of the mass around the icy giant. Triton's migration may have obliterated Neptune's prior moons, leaving behind only fragmented remnants, particularly among the inner group. The outer satellites, on the other hand, might have been captured by Neptune in a manner similar to Triton's capture. Triton's presence has also exerted a significant influence on its celestial neighbours. The third largest moon in proximity to Triton orbits in a highly elliptical trajectory. Its perihelion draws it within 858,400 miles of Neptune, while its aphelion extends to 5,981,600 miles. This irregular orbit suggests that it was perturbed from its original path by Triton's migration, although it narrowly escaped a catastrophic collision, albeit at the expense of other satellites. Moreover, its retrograde orbit, where Triton moves slower than the planet's rotation, predisposes it to gravitational attraction, potentially leading to its eventual disintegration under Neptune's gravitational forces, forming a new ring system over the course of several million years. While the prospect of Triton's eventual demise lies in the distant future, the Moon possesses another intriguing aspect worthy of exploration in the present. Despite being encased in a layer of ice composed of condensed nitrogen, Triton potentially harbours a warm ocean beneath its frozen exterior, a factor that could support life. Water, a crucial ingredient for life's genesis, serves as the primary medium for vital biological processes, including cellular structure maintenance. The potential for life on Triton is influenced by several key factors. For instance, in addition to the nitrogen-spewing geysers observed by Voyager, another peculiar phenomenon caught attention during the mission – a dark cryovolcanic plume towering five miles high. The unique dark hue of this plume is likely attributed to carbon-rich materials, a fundamental component in the formation of organic life, from the simplest organisms to more complex beings. While the exact composition of Triton's hypothetical ocean remains elusive, scientists speculate that it could contain significant quantities of ammonium, sodium chloride and oxygen, influenced by the volatile composition of comets. However, Triton's frigid temperatures make the existence of complex life forms unlikely, despite its nitrogen-rich atmosphere resembling Earth's, albeit much thinner, hindering heat retention even with nitrogen clouds in the upper atmosphere. Nevertheless, surface temperatures on Triton can experience fluctuations, albeit within modest ranges. 
In 2010, observations using the Very Large Telescope of the European Southern Observatory revealed the presence of seasons on Triton akin to Earth, albeit lasting a staggering 40 years each. Currently experiencing summer, Triton has exhibited a temperature rise from a bone-chilling negative 392 Fahrenheit to negative 389 Fahrenheit. Though seemingly minor, this increase is significant for a moon characterized by extreme cold. MIT researchers, led by Professor James L. Elliott, interpret these temperature variations as indicative of global warming. It's projected that every nine years could witness a further 3 degree Fahrenheit rise, potentially leading to the release of evaporated gas into the atmosphere, increasing its volume. However, Triton's atmosphere cannot maintain saturation indefinitely. During the harsher fall and winter months, it thins until freezing and settling on the surface, rendering the satellite devoid of atmosphere until the onset of spring. However, the presence of such extreme conditions doesn't necessarily rule out the possibility of simple primitive life taking root within Triton's watery depths. Yet, determining definitively whether Triton holds the key to answering the age-old question, are we alone, requires more than just snapshots from Voyager and James Webb. Triton remains one of the most captivating satellites in our solar system, brimming with unanswered questions. Despite the daunting challenges posed by interstellar travel, scientific curiosity perseveres. In the near future, NASA had proposed the ambitious Trident mission, slated for a 16-year exploration of Triton and Neptune, aimed at unraveling the Moon's mysteries and assessing its habitability. Trident's objectives encompass confirming the existence of a subsurface ocean, identifying molecular building blocks, and thoroughly mapping the remaining 60% of Triton's surface. However, Trident faced funding setbacks in 2021, losing out to other missions like Da Vinci Plus and Veritas, focused on exploring Venus. Yet, hope remains alive for Triton's exploration, with China contemplating a nuclear-powered mission to Neptune and the possibility of NASA reconsidering Trident for a future expedition. Trident holds the promise of unlocking vital insights into ocean worlds and their geological dynamics. Expeditions to Neptune's largest moon offer the tantalizing prospect of confirming or refuting the presence of an ocean and, if confirmed, elucidating its composition to shed light on the potential for life within this frigid lunar realm. The exploration of hypothetical and occasionally active ocean worlds like Triton, Enceladus or Europa has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of life's origins and extreme environments. Future expeditions promise to propel our knowledge forward, resolving long-standing inquiries while simultaneously unveiling new enigmas. Perhaps in the not-too-distant future, we'll uncover the secrets behind the formation of global oceans on icy celestial bodies, unravel the mysteries of their geological activity, and ultimately address the profound question of our cosmic solitude, all thanks to the enigmatic cold embrace of Triton.